Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode. Alright, before we start with this video, I just want to apologize for not for not posting much of Criminal Case in the last couple of days because because I downloaded the newest the newer version of Camtasia and the older version what the older version kept crashing while I was rendering the video. I always didn't upload the last Criminal Case video because of that. So I downloaded the next the newer Camtasia and now I needed to learn a bit how to use it and well most of it is all the same but I couldn't find the options for the camera and all that so all right wish me luck that this will go well all right so I looked through your suggestions and also some of the suggestions I have been waiting longest longer than the one in the recent comments on my videos and I thought Maybe I should do another case in World Edition, and we are actually gonna do the very first case in World Edition. Also, what one of you guys suggested it, I don't know who it was. So, let's get in. I do have a lot of energy. <laughs> Probably from collecting all the stars possible. Alright, let's do this. In the chief's office. Ma'am, this is Commander Katarina, the new recruit. And I look good as a new recruit. <laughs> ah, Katarina, just in time. You've been following the news, I presume. Nah, I did not. No? Well, we'd better show you. Ingrid, fetch the slides. Over the past few months, Euro's been hit by an unprecedented wave of violence. Terrorist attacks happened in Berlin and Rome. Every capital in Europe is at the highest level of security alert. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are pretty sure there's someone behind this, but we have no idea who. That's why you are going to Westbury's Lane in London. I'm partnering you with Jack Archer. He'll meet you there. Alright. And if I'm correct, before before World Edition was released as a standalone app, there was a cutscene in the first case right here where Jack was dressed as as a as a British police officer. That's that's just what I saw in Pidgey Gates 88's video video, but as as it wasn't shown when I first played the game, so. What? I couldn't click on him immediately? Ah, oh, he wasn't on the list. Well, there goes more points. Anyway, we'll pick you up last. Hold on there, buddy. <laughs> so you telephoned before you died. Hmm. Could that be? I'm guessing a body in a phone box is not an everyday London occurrence. Okay, hello, Jack. His face looks swollen, like he's suffocated. Wait a minute, I know who this is, Katarina. It's Prince Albert. He's the heir to the British throne. This is huge. Who would want to kill a royal? Everyone loves the royal family. I better call the chief and update her. Chief, we've got a problem. Prince Albert has been killed on Westminster Lane. What are your orders? Dear God, what was the prince doing on Westminster Lane? This is a disaster. Right, keep the murderer a secret until Katria catches this killer. We don't want to start a panic. Yeah. Okay, Katria, first we get this body to Angela. She's our genius corroder. She'll be able to tell us something about this prince. What else did you pick up? Some broken metal pieces? Alright, let's see how fast can you put them back together. Excuse me, out of my way. I have a jolly important meeting with jolly important fellows at the bank. Excuse yourself, pal. This is a crime scene. There's a dead body, if you haven't noticed. Goodness gracious, that's the prince. I thought I saw something near that telephone box, but I never... You saw something? 
Right, Corvetta Katarina will Corvetta Katarina will need to talk to you. Have you got potty? Don't you know who I am? No, tell us. The Monopoly guy? Look, I don't care. We're on a murder case. Your BD can wait. Justice can't. That's how you wanna play, huh? How did the prince die? Pleased to meet you. I'm your coroner, Angela Douglas. It says that on our Nobel Prize for Biology. Cool, huh? Oh, stop, Archer. A Nobel Prize isn't a big deal. Eliciting secrets or dead bodies? Now that's... What? Bank? <laughs> Baby, I almost worked out the chemical compound of lithium bicarbonate. Hello. Katarina, this is Lars, my husband. He works in forensics, but he's not blowing things up, that is. So, you're the detective who brought in Prince Albert. What a terrible murder. You haven't heard the worst of it. The autopsy revealed the prince was poisoned. His lungs are filled with carbon oxychloride, poisonous gas. I examined that phone receiver the prince was holding. That's how the gas was released. A small canister was hidden inside the phone, designed to release the gas when the phone was spoken into. Pretty sophisticated murder weapon, right? So the prince picked up the receiver and was gassed. But what was he doing on Westminster Lane? How did this killer know he would be there? No idea. I could tell you your killer made a mistake. I found traces of Camellia Senesis inside the device. The killer drank a cup of tea before killing the prince. The killer drinks tea? Isn't that what everyone in Britain drinks all the time? It is? Okay, Katria, evidence is evidence, and we'll catch this tea drinking killer even if we have to interview every person on this damn island. Heh! <laughs> Nicely said. Alright, let's restore these broken pieces. Good job. Those broken pieces you picked up on the crime scene make this pendant. It looks like a family crest, but whose? And what was it doing next to the prince's body? You got any tricks up your sleeve for this? Can we identify it somehow in our database? That, that. You have access to the database? Man, you do have high clearance. Okay, well I'll let you run this family crest through the database. Alright. Alright, now let's go to this dude. It's really a crying shame about Prince Albert. My bank is responsible for managing the royal fortune, so I met the fellow often. Damn good chap. You don't seem that upset. That's my British stiff upper lip. No need to get all melodramatic and American about something as trivial as murder. You bet you see something strange near the phone box. What was it? I saw someone hiding in the bushes, watching that telephone box. I presume it was just some chap with a phone fetish. Kirby got a bloody dig about the shadowy fellow, but I did see them running off to the Globe Theatre. The Globe Theatre? That old looking theatre in the center of town? That's for check it out. Let's go, Katerina. Alright. Okay, another family crest. Well, what's the difference? Count Rupert. Well, this case goes to the very top. He says here the crest we found on the crisis belongs to Count Rupert. According to the database, Count Rupert is next in line to the throne. 
If Prince Albert dies, Rupert inherits the crown. Oh. Sounds like this guy has a perfect motive. Come on, let's go talk to him. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna investigate the theater first. To be or not to be, that is the question. To solve the case or not, we are going to solve it. Sorry. A candle. So that shadowy fellow that Snooty Banker ventured came to this theater. Have you found anything that connects them to our case? You think that candle could shed some light on why the killer came here? You think there's something written on it? I'll get you dusty kit so you can take a closer look. Cool! You picked up a box of costumes. I'll handle this. I'm the master of disguise after all. Yes, everybody knows that. Oh, okay. You go ahead this time, Katrina. Let's see if you find anything interesting in there. Well, I'll search through it, but... If I find a good costume, we could put it on. At least I could see you look cool in something. Alright, let's go to Robert. Do hurry this up. One has to get back for one's polo match this afternoon. Safety tells me your match is going to be cancelled, your lordship. Prince Albert was just murdered. Good gracious, Albert? Dead? How could this be? Who'd want to harm that sweet innocent man? That's what we are trying to work out. You do know that this now makes you the heir to the throne. The heir? How interesting. One is gobsmacked. It also makes you a suspect. Don't be absurd. How ridiculous. One would never kill someone. Just to... We come here to the richest kingdom in the world. That's just poppycock. I don't like him, no. Alright, let's look through the box. Here, have a skull. Maybe you can play Hamlet for me, Jack. <laughs> Alright, the glows. So, what's so special about those clothes you found? There's some there's some interesting stuff in that costume box after all. That's the royal crest on the clothes. Do you think these clothes belong to our victim? Do you want to analyze those clothes further? I know just the woman to help. Marina Romanova. She's our icy Russian profiler, and I think she's hot for me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, two hours only. Okay, now the candle. Oh, Illuminati. Nice work. That candle you found at the theater is awesome. Look at that weird symbol on it. We're luck, Katarina. We hired a new team member, Armand Dupont. His historian and symbols, culture, and stuff are his specialty. The beauty only recruits the best, but if I'm being honest, the Paul could put me to sleep at a heavy metal concert. Who should still take this candle to him? The pond. Hmm. What's with these clothes? So, you're the commander Katrina everyone is talking about. I'm Dr. Romanova, but you can call me Marina. Hey, sweetheart. You never answered about that date we were supposed to go on. Oh, Archer, the bitter nails on your left hand suggest your charm is skin deep, whereas your side part of hair tells you you still have issues with your mother. Neither are qualities I look for in a lover. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The meaner you are to me, the more I like you. 
The illusions are never healthy, Archer. Now, Katarina, I'll get straight to the point. Those clothes you found in the theater belong to your killer. Oh. The Royal Crest links them to your murder. However, they can't have been the victims as they see well used. Princes wear a fresh pair of gloves every day. It's tradition. Furthermore, there are tiny red marks on the gloves' tips, consistent with pay from a London phone box. Therefore, they must be the killers. So, you're saying that the killer is a member of the royal family? Not so simple. Everyone wants royal style clothes these days. You can buy these clothes in shops. The interesting thing is, these aren't ordinary clothes. They are horse riding clothes. Oh. Katrina, I'll bet my doctor that your killer enjoys horse riding. Alright. Now this strange symbol on the candle. Hey, the pond. This is Katarina, our new detective investigating the prince's murder. Ah, Commander Katarina, enchante. Monsieur the pond at your service. You French, you're always so charming. How dare you! Ridiculous American boy child. I am not French, I am from Switzerland. Yikes. Sorry to wind up your cuckoo clock there. Will you just tell us about this symbol Katria found on that candle? Ah, Bilsu, the candle. It was most illuminating. That symbol is clearly a magic spell. Superstitious, superstitious nonsense, if you ask me. The only time I've seen this symbol is in a book written by some mad monk called Brother Klaus. He's a very strange man. I'm surprised the British police haven't arrested him. If you found it in the theater, Katarina, that must be where Klaus is hiding. A dark and somber theater. He must feel right at home. Okay, so we're going back to that creepy theater and talk to a creepy monk about a murder. Cool. I'm going to let you lead on this one, Katarina. I'm sure you can handle it. Alright. Yeah, I can handle weird people, that's what you want to say. Alright, let's go to Brother Klaus. Hello. Is there anyone there? Honestly, Katrina, I don't think there's anyone here. The pawn must have- Who dares disturb me? Oh my god! Katrina, save me! No, I'm no god. I'm just a monk, hiding in this theater from the wickedness of the world. I have seen many things, the fall of mankind, the destruction of souls under the crushing weight of modernity, the fires of Hades burning human flesh. Okay, Katarina, I thought we were going to get much out of this guy. I don't think he could even tell us what planet he's currently on. Furby, Ghost, the Antichrist is coming for you. Your sins shall have nowhere to hide. Thank you for all the advice, Brother Klaus. We'll come back when you're less crazy. That's right. Let's go. First day on the job, we got ourselves a murder more British than cricket. So, who do you th think killed the prince? I have a few theories. Firstly, that banker dude. He didn't seem upset about Prince Albert's death, but that could just be his stiff upper lip. Count Rupert, the new heir to the throne, wasn't that cut up either. He was more interested in how much money he'll get. So watch for royal duty. We know the kill rides horses and drinks tea. That could be anyone in this damn country, from a chimney sweep to the Queen of England. Ha, huh, yeah, you wouldn't that be funny if the Queen turned out to be a suspect? Will we get beheaded for that? Commander Katrina, you are to come with me at once. Hello. Wait a minute, you can't just barge in here. What authority do you have? The Queen of England's authority. Her Majesty wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Ahem. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in Chapter 2. So! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!